Good day, I'm Brian Cyrus of 6 Matapat. In this video, we will talk about what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. An earthquake or a volcanic eruption is a terrifying disaster that you cannot tell when it will come. Anyone can experience it and we cannot predict when exactly the disaster is struck. But before that, let's document first why the earthquake occurs. Earthquake occurs when rock along the fault wool. A fault is breaking the earth crust along its significant movement has taken place. Since our country is one of the countries under the Pacific Ring of Fire, we are often hit the earthquake and volcanic eruption. It's true that no one can stop earthquake from happening, but there are things so we can do avoid or reduce lost lives and damage the properties. According to the Philippines Institute of Volcanologists and Seismology or PBOX, the following can be done. What to do before an earthquake? Number one, check the stability of hanging objects. Number two, breakable items, harmful chemicals, and flammable materials should be stored properly. Number three, no exit routes. Number four, Know where fire extinguishers and first aid kits are located. Number five, prepare an emergency supply kit that includes water, can food, can opener, clothing, blanket, battery operated radio, flashlight, and extra batteries. Number six, participate in regular earthquake drills. What to do during an earthquake? Number one, stay calm. Number two, if you're at home or inside a building, stay there. Number three, duck under a sturdy desk or table and hold onto it. Number three, duck under a sturdy desk or table and hold onto it. Number four, stay away from glass windows, cabinets, and heavy objects. Number five, beware of falling objects. Number six, if you are outside, move to an open area. Number seven, Stay away from trees, power lines, and concrete structures. Number eight, move away from steep slopes which will be affected by landslides. What to do after an earthquake? Number one, check yourself and others for injuries. Number two, check for spills of chemical, toxic, and flammable materials. Number three, do not use elevators or enter damaged buildings. Number four, if you need to evacuate, leave a message and bring your emergency kit. Number five, listen to the radio or TV for updates. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Stay safe everyone. Bye!